Hey guys, it's Nicole, and I just completed my layout for Reagan's photo that I shared. Um, I'm going to go over the supplies I did not use, and then I'm going to show you what I did use and kind of go over my process. Um, to start with, um, I was very happy I didn't end up having to use this big 5x7. I found a 4x6, and I actually even cropped it to be like maybe a 3x5. Um, so it worked out a lot better because my whole point of the layout was to use a lot of, or have a lot of negative space around the photo. So, um, I didn't have to use that photo. Then, um, I did not use this washi tape. I used several others, but this one just didn't come into play. I didn't do any journaling on the layout, so I actually didn't use any journaling cards. Not the cloud one from here, and not this one. And, um, many of you have been asking me to kind of give tips, and, um, one of my tips is don't feel pressure to journal on every layout. Sometimes the photo just speaks for itself, and you don't have to journal on every layout, and sometimes you just can't find the right place to put a journaling card. And when that happens, and I want to explain something on the photo, sometimes I just take a pencil and journal on the back. Um, that way it's there for me, but it's not, you know hurting the integrity of the photo because you just try to plop a journaling card somewhere and it just really didn't go with your layout. Okay, I didn't use any um, Technique Tuesday stamps. I just didn't find anywhere that I felt they would be, be fitting or appropriate, so I left that out. And then I didn't end up using these rub-ons. Instead, I actually pulled rub-ons out from my stash that I didn't initially pull, which were clouds, and I don't know why I didn't pull them. I guess I just didn't happen to see them, and I thought of it after, so you'll see that. And then I didn't use either of my Fisker's punches. Um, I wanted, again, to have a lot of negative space, and I felt that if I just did the tone-on-tone -tone clouds, it would just be too much, so I did not use those. So that is it from what I pulled that I did not use. Now I will show you what I did use, and there was even some stuff that I didn't initially pull that I pulled because sometimes when I get involved in a layout, um, I start seeing things that, that, you know, I didn't originally see, like, oh, you know, I, I have this product, so I should pull it out and use it here. Okay, so let me show you. Um, I did use a piece of this vellum from the Neapolitan collection. I really like the way that it looks, and I did use a hunk of this paper. Then, um, from this I pulled, I used this tag right here, and you'll see that on my layout. And then I used a border strip from here. I used this piece right over here of this blue one. And then for my alphabet, while I did use these stickers, okay, so these stickers were my inspiration for my entire layout, but then I found that they were just too big to spell large words with, so I only used them to I used the D, this D right here, I used it as a 9, um, and then I used the U, so you'll kind of see how I did that, and then I incorporated other letters as well, I spelt the word cloud out with these October afternoon fly kite stickers, and then I spelt some of the other words out using from Emma Shop Collection these um, kind of magenta ones right here. Then for washi, I used these three right here, and I just love this one. It came out so cute on the layout, um, and I didn't pull this out originally, but I needed some teeny, teeny, tiny letters, and then I remembered that I had this, um, and you guys asked me, like, how do I know what's in my stash? Well, sometimes when I'm pulling, I forget about things, but then as I'm working, I'm like, oh, I need something that's small, and then all of a sudden I remember this package, so I use some of these pink ones right here. Um, I had used that little pink die cut out of here that I said I was going to use. These were the new rub-ons that I pulled, um, these cloud ones that have gray grid. I used one of these tags, just like I said I was going to. Let me see. Oh, and then something that I added was, I remembered I had the Neapolitan tag, so I ended up using one of those too. Um... Another thing that I pulled at the last minute, I felt like it needed some twine, so I grabbed some of my Daily Junk one and used this green one here. And then I used my Heart Punch. So that is what I used for my layout. Oh, and I used some Mr. Huey's, which I never pull because they're just all my desks, so I just use them as needed. But okay, let me move all this. And then I shall 
showing you what I created. And I'm very happy with the way it turned out. I think it's super cute. Alright. I can't get the whole thing in a frame, which I hate. Let me see her. Alright guys, I'm going to have to just start at the top and then work my way down. Sorry. Um, so the first thing I did was I took Mr. Huey and Barnwood, Dewey, and Cameo, and I just sprinkled it all over the paper, which you can see there. Then, up here, I bordered it with some washi tape, and then I used that border from the Sassafras sheet to kind of make the spanner, and then I just cut off the edges here, and then I stapled it on using my tiny attacher. And then here's where I used those teeny tiny letters to write love, and I just thought that that was fitting since there were hearts with the clouds here. Then, over in this little corner... I just put different strips of washi tape, which you'll see other places in the layout. And then this heart is a heart I punched from the vellum right there. And then I just stapled it on and let it kind of hang. Then I'll kind of, then I basically clustered everything over here. So the first thing I did was I punched a heart in this vellum. And then I used one of my gel pens just to edge it out so that you can better see it. Am I in frame? Yeah. And then um, I didn't adhere the vellum down all the way, and I took some of this washi tape and I bordered the vellum right here so it just said love, love, love. And I like it because it's clear or see-through. Let me just show you. Boy, this washi tape, since it is clear, I have such trouble finding the beginning of it. But if you look, it's like very see-through. So I kind of used that on the vellum here. Then I layered some of this paper, um, and then I did a lot of layering. Basically, this is um, from the Emma shop. This tag right here is an upside down, like I hung, I stuck it in with the, you know, side with the hole in it down, and I just stuck it here and then put this little sticker from the Emma shop that says daughter, and then I stapled it on instead of um, taping it. And then here's just a little die cut sticker that I shoved in there, some washi tape. Oh, I forgot to show you that I used one of these um, buttons from Buttons and Badges. This is from the Studio Calico die cut kit. Oh, and this strip right here that has the stripes, and uh, it's somewhere, where else did I put it? I put it here. Oh, I guess I only put it there. Um, this is actually like, you know, at the bottom of the American Craft paper where it says the name, the other side has a pattern. This was the pattern from this paper. So I just cut a little piece off. And then this is a tag from the Peachy Keen, and I just like how it brought the yellow and this like magenta color. And then here's where I added that twine. I just wanted it to have a little bit more dimension. And then I added a little staple here. And then I put some cloud rub-ons up here. And then I might wanted my tittle to be on cloud nine over you, and then I just felt these letters were too big. So I only used the B to make a nine and then the U here. And then these are the fly kite stickers for Cloud. And then these are the Emma Shop. So that's really it. And then I did just some stapling um, in various areas. And I just love how the layout turned out. I just think it's so cute. So that's it. That's my layout, guys. And, you know, let me know if you have any questions. And I know that these videos are very light, so I will continue to do them. They're very easy for me. Um, and I apologize that I can't really edit, but at least you'll see like the before and after. Okay, talk to you soon. Bye.